Welcome to another episode of Luck Against Asia on Air. This is your science teacher, Ms. Heidi Iso. Our learning objectives for this topic are as follows. In the previous lesson, you learned about how sound is being produced. It is also mentioned that sound always requires a medium to travel from the source of its production to the receiver end. The following medium of propagation are air, liquid, and solid. For sure, you have used the word heat many times in your life. You have experienced it. You have observed its effect. But have you ever wondered what heat really is? Example is the kettle with water placed on top of burning stove. The water gets hot because heat from the burning stove is transferred to it. Now, let us explore heat in the world of science. Heat is an energy in transit. Meaning, it travels from high temperature object to a lower temperature object. This property is called heating. Object which is high in temperature give up heat, while object with low temperature receive heat. Always remember that it is the thermal energy that is being transferred and not the heat itself. Now, let us identify the methods on how heat is being transferred. Number one, conduction. Conduction takes place between objects that are in contact with each other. The energy is transferred through particles that are close or in direct contact with the object. Example of conduction is when you heat a pan on a stove. The heat from the burner transferred directly to the surface of the pan. Number two, we have convection. Convection occurs when particles with a lot of heat energy in a liquid or gas move and take the place of particles with less heat energy. Heat energy is transferred from hot places to cooler places by convection. Example of convection is a boiling water in a pot. When a fluid, such as air or a liquid, is heated and then travels away from the source, it carries the thermal energy along. And lastly, we have radiation. In radiation, the heat is transferred in the form of electromagnetic waves. It carries energy from one object to another. The most common example of radiation is the energy coming from the sun. The hotter an object is, the more infrared radiation it emits. I hope you learned a lot from this day's topic. See you again next time on another episode of Glove Gen's Teaching on Air. Once again, this is your teacher, Miss Heidi Iso, saying, Happy Learning!